Hello everyone, welcome to the greenhouse. It's Danny. I hope this video finds you well. And today I was just in the greenhouse doing a little bit of watering, but mainly inspecting the plants. It's a really good thing to do that, especially when you have a large collection. And I found an infestation of scale today on one of my big catlias. So I thought it was a great opportunity to show you guys what it looks like. I have not had too many infestations of scale. It's mainly been spider mites here in the greenhouse for me. But I'm going to show you what it looks like and how I'm going to get rid of it. Hey you guys, so I decided to come into my kitchen to do this because this is the Calia that is infested. My big whopper here. I got this from Robert's Flower Supply last winter and it came with all this damaged, it's not very good lighting. I'm sorry, I just didn't want to take a chance and do this in the greenhouse. But I bought it for $20 last year in really bad shape. And it did have scale when I got it last year. And I, look at, I took a look at the orchids in the greenhouse and no other orchids have scale that I can see. So I believe this is the only one and taking a closer look at it before I came in here, it's really, it's more infested than I thought. So if you take a look at this cane right here, you see that white stuff? That's mold. So the scale leaves behind a sticky, sappy residue and then that residue starts to mold. I'm sure there's probably some little scalies underneath there trying to hide, but let me turn this camera around and show you what the actual scale looks like. So we're taking a look at that look, the middle cane right here. You see those white dots? That is scale. Now take a look at the canes behind it. Scale. And they don't just hang out on the canes, you can find scale on the underside of your leaves and on the top of your leaves. And unfortunately, this is my only and ever one and only cat I have ever, ever potted in moss. And the scale goes so far down onto these canes, pseudo bulbs, whatever, I wanted to get rid of this moss and I totally forgot that this was my one and only I have in moss. Um, so let me show you how I'm going to treat this. I've taken that top layer of moss off so I can get down to the whole plant and right now moss is just covering the root system. What I have in this spray bottle is Oh, it's in the greenhouse too. Well, what is in the spray bottle is 70% 70 per, 70 straight rubbing alcohol. And a roll of paper towels is what you're gonna need. Not the good brand either. You don't wanna waste your money on these little pests. Just some cheapo paper towels. And I'm gonna spray every inch of this plant down. I am going to soak it. And this scale, it does come in different colors. I've never seen the scale that is black. I've never seen the black or brown. I've always had the white scale. I've not been infested with scale too many times. I usually have a problem with spider mites. But I don't know which one I would rather have, spider mites or scale? I think spider mites, I don't know. But I'm getting every single leaf, underside, front, the canes. And this one has some sheaths happening. That's how I found it. I was inspecting this whopper for some new buds. And this orchid really has been through the ringer. I bought it in really, really bad shape. 
And so these are all the old growths and this new growth is just beautiful. It's taking time to grow and acclimate, but that new growth is beautiful. So now what we're gonna do might be a little time consuming if you have a really large plant, but you're gonna take every single inch of this plant and you're gonna wipe it down. And then you're gonna try to find every little scale and scrub him off like that. The alcohol kills it because it's a soft shell one. Soft shell scale. I say that three times in a row. See, this is why I didn't do it in my greenhouse. I'm so glad I did not do this in my greenhouse. And we're just gonna wipe it down. And this will stay here in my kitchen in quarantine until I'm satisfied and I don't see any more scale. But I just thought this was a really good representation of what scale looks like. And after I get all these leaves, I'll work my way down to the pseudobulbs, canes, whatever I was calling them. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, happy growing. Uh, update you on this beauty in a few weeks. Hopefully I have some blooms to show you too because it's a magnificent, magnificent red frilly girl. Happy growing everyone. Stay safe till next time.